So 3.5 thousand ounces per month are roughly yeah. being processed currently at this plant and it can scale higher, right? Yeah, yeah. So what is the maximum? How many yeah. ounces can it maximally produce? Maximum, it's, it's approximately... We're talking gold today with Pillar Gold and here we are at the amazing plant with Ramon, who is the plant uh, manager of this, uh, this uh, great plant. Ramon, you're going to give us a short overview of how this works, right? Yeah. Hi guys, uh, in PGDM we have an ore stock pile and uh, the ore stock pile feed the crushing, crushing uh, reduce material and uh, feed the silo. The silo feed the saga mill. And sorry, the silo just stores the material for a bit, yeah. right? It's another stockpile, yeah. right? A stockpile yeah, it's a in between. secondary stockpile, yeah. And uh, the silo feed our milling to have opportunity to reduce the, the ore. And uh, the product of milling uh, feed the hydrocyclone to classificate the, the size of material. Underflow, it's a higher uh, size. Feed the Nelsons. Nelson is a gravity uh, concentrator. And the concentrate of this feed the acacia. So at the Nelsons, you basically use density to yeah, filter out yeah. the gold. So the gold that's more dense goes to one yeah. side and the rock that's less dense goes yeah. to the other, right? Gold is more density and uh, concentrate and uh, it's opportunity to remove the other not density part and the concentrate feed the acacia. What is the acacia? Acacia is a higher using sodium cyanide and uh, lixiviation the, 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 the free gold and the, the free gold lixiviation and go into smelting area. And the underflow of our hydrocyclone feed our thickener and uh, in the thickener we have a low grade parts and uh, adjust the per percent of soil we use the flocculant and uh, this part we feed the chemical part. In the chemical part, we have uh, opportunity to lixiviation and using lime, oxygen, and uh, sodium cyanide. And uh, the sip part, it receives the product of lixiviation. The sip, it's carbon in pulp. We have a rotative screen and uh, carbon in the rotative screen. And uh, re the carbon uh, recovery the soluble gold and uh, the carbon in the next step we remove the gold in the elution circuit in the elution feed to the our smelting area too okay if i may quickly summarize that we basically have the hydron cyclone right yeah and that's basically the point where two different circuits happen so we have one circuit yeah. that uh, uses density to filter out the gold and the other one uses the chemicals now what what roughly percentage goes into the density one yeah. and what percentage goes into the chemical one? In PGDM, uh, approximately 70% uh, of our production is a uh, gravity circuit and 30% uh, of our production is our chemical area. And uh, it's uh, similar to, to other plants and uh, in PGDM we have more free gold in the ore. All right, 70% and 30%. And perhaps we can give some fun facts about the plant to the viewers at home. Yeah. So how many tons per day can this mill handle? Yeah. Uh, our capacity is approximately 4.5 thousand tons per day and uh, for our milling. And uh, this is our uh, capacity. All right. And how many ounces a year are currently being pro processed here? Uh, approximately 3,000 ounces in our full capacity, 3.5 thousand ounces approximately. So 3.5 thousand ounces per month are roughly yeah. being processed currently at this plant and it can scale higher, right? Yeah, yeah. So what is the maximum? How many yeah. ounces can it maximally produce? Maximum it's, it's approximately 4,000 uh, ounces per month. 4,000 uh, ounces per month. Uh, around the, the year it's approximately 40, 44,000 ounces a year. 44,000 ounces a year, okay. Yeah. Thank you, Ramon, really appreciate okay. it. Thank you for your time.